We have Abdelala Asuzi, who has been here before. Philip Verlinden. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Philip Verlinden. Yes. Good fighter. Now, under 95 kilograms once again. These are the big boys, and I cannot see the pace of this fight matching the one before it. No, oh, let's Mabruk. see uh, what's going to happen. Uh. Stiff. Yes. Low, mid kick and then followed by a high kick. From so it's interesting to see uh, uh, Orthodox against Southpaw. Because I think we talked about it before. Yep. Um, Attacking the rear leg. He did it, and his first kick was at the, at the rear leg, so I wonder what uh, what else is going to happen. Well, Asuzi here, he's, he's back, yeah. and Edre up in the corner, and he's unleashing some punches, hooks, a little bit of an untidy one there, a high kick. But Ganedra needs to get out of that corner. Oh, nice knee there. Yeah. Flying knee through the middle. Well, Asuzi looks like he means business. He does. Heavy punches and kicks. It just, I mean, you never know. I don't know, but uh, Fabrizio Ganedra, mm -hmm. he's got a tight, well, no, he hasn't got a tight defense because he took a left hand there. And it just makes you wonder, is he, is it, are they trying to just take a lot of punishment to wear the opponent out? I, I, oh, I, I don't think that's the case here. I hope not. Oh. I hope he's not uh, a fighter like that uh, to take to take something to give something. But uh. well, Asuzi has come to get the knockout. Oh, he just he just looks more powerful. And Ganedra just looks slow, yeah, doesn't he? Explosive, and Ganedra looks yeah. He looks like he still... He took a left hook and a right hand there. That was a knockdown. He still looks like uh, he uh, has to uh, Warm get up. into the fight. But you don't have time for that. No. I don't understand that. Now he's taken a knockdown there. Yeah. It didn't knock him senseless. Oh. He still knows where he is. But uh, as soon as he could come in here, all guns blazing now. For sure. Let's see what he's going to do. And he doesn't want to go crazy. But he does uh, want to capitalize on that punishment. Yeah, he should. Nice low kick. Well, I'm so yeah, I think Ganedra, he's not, he's not rea reacting on everything, anything that Asusi does. And Asusi does it very explosive also, all the time. Oh, he, he, he hurt his foot there. Yeah, he hurts himself. Well, you just can't tell. Well, I hope that doesn't change the fight. It might, but uh, I guess uh, Nedra didn't see it. Because he could take advantage of it. Let's see what happens as he goes back to his corner. Exactly. Uh, as soon as he... In, I mean, the corner, he should mention it to his corner. They should get some ice on there. Yeah, they might, but maybe it's not uh, that... Maybe it's not that big of a problem, but I think you see it become a little bit, a, a little bit stable. Yeah, well, we'll see. But it's very easy to damage the little bones on your feet. You, I mean, you, you know, you kick with your shin. Exactly. And sometimes, if you're you out hit, of range, your foot you hit with your foot. Yeah, but Bosh. if you're a real fighter, you uh, you <laughs> take the pain. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's how I think. I mean, I have been in those situations that that I was really. And I really had pain, and I was like, "Okay, I have to take the pain, and then because I don't want to, I don't want to give up." Well, and while he's ahead on points for sure, um, I can understand that he will, uh, he will try it out. And he's not limping, so maybe, yeah. uh, maybe. And it's amazing how much adrenaline can mask. Exactly. Mask exactly. Pain. And, uh, after the, and after the... Oh, lovely high kick! Yeah. Another knockdown. Tariel's giving him a count. As Susie has to come to a neutral corner. And that knockdown actually went through the gloves. Yeah. I don't know oh, only when, why he only gave him a five count. 
Yeah, it should go to eight. Are you okay? Step forward. Oh, a lovely right hand there from uh, Asuzi. Oh, two hooks. A knee. Oops, took one downstairs there. I heard that. Oh. Just jumping up and down, trying to put the crown jewels back in order. Yeah. Yeah, it must hurt. And one thing. I don't know if we have an iron protector, <laughs> but. Uh, well, I don't, I don't think they've ever perfected a groin guard. Exactly. Um, you will always feel it. You'll always feel it, but it's, yeah. it's not so much the double factor, it's the pain yeah. and the shock. Yeah. But uh, it's especially also because one is uh, uh, South Pole and other is Orthodox. Then those things happen sometimes. Well, as soon as he got it there, that was a left hand. That's the second knockdown of the second round. One more knockdown and the fight's over. It's only two, there's still two minutes to go, so. So, Asuzi's corner are, are being very patient, I have yeah, to say. Very relaxed. Uh, there's a, a left hand there. Asuzi should be coming forward like a maniac now. He's only got to get a knockdown, not necessarily a knockout, but I think he can get the knockout. Yeah, but Gnedre tries to fight back. It looks like he tried to fight back, but he's already backing up or, uh, again. But he's not sparking, is it? Well, oh, there, there we see a nice very kick. good kick, very good knee. And you think, then you think, like, why shouldn't he done that before? Again, as, especially as a southpaw, it's it's good to kick the left because it's uh, you kick him on the open side. And it's well, very Asuzi dangerous. Is, yeah. When a Susie comes in like that, firing, it's danger. Yes, but 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 a Susie is so explosive that he can he can hardly react on that. Here. Well, we have a minute left of this second round. Two knockdowns from Abdelila Asuzi. And if Fabrizio Ganedra gets knocked down once more, it's going to be over. It looks like he's not he's not really hurt. And, and yep. Asuzi looks like he's getting a little bit tired. And he's yes. just so explosive, I couldn't understand. Oh, Although this is was a very good kick, <laughs> and then he and fires a high kick. Yeah. yeah well, maybe uh, oh. he finds his uh, second. Uh, I called it second, second air, wind. Second yeah. wind. And um, I think he should have been able to finish it, but Ganedres looks like he's coming back now. And it's difficult, even and if uh, even if someone's a little bit lacks a, a bit slow at this weight, they uh -huh. still got knockout power. That's true, but I, I just don't understand why I have the feeling that Asusi letting let him come back into the game. Yeah, that's the part I don't understand. But well, I'd like to see a bit more encouragement from the corner. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe. Some corners go crazy. I didn't hear the corner uh, so much. I mean, they're speaking Dutch, but uh, yeah, I didn't hear them so much. Um, Some corners are over the top. Exactly. And some corners are under the top. Um, or maybe they, they, they believe the fact that uh, he's going to finish the fight anyway, something like that. Well, yeah. He should have done it already, in my opinion. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Uh, if he's doing everything right, he's exactly. doing everything right. But yeah, that's true. But yeah. But I mean, he's well ahead on points. He cannot lose on points anymore. He can only lose by knockout. Or, or doing something stupid. Yeah, well. Which does happen. Yeah, sometimes it happens, but. And one, one thing we don't get too much of here at Senshi is the is guys showboating. And I dislike no. that. Oh, I, that's, yeah. I know it can be fun sometimes, yeah, but it, listen, if you're that good that you can start yeah. acting like a clown, well, why that's don't you knock him out? Yeah. Uh, well, finish the guy. True. That's true. Um, so here we are in the third and final round. Abdelala Asuzi oh, from Morocco headbutt. fighting Fabrizio Ganedra. And there we just see a little stop in the action with a clash of heads. Yeah. A touch of gloves. Asuzi here very dangerous there with knees, punches and kicks. 
the thing is that Gnedre doesn't even look that that bad. He, he's, he's but he's not sparking. Something like that, yeah. you know? It's like he doesn't believe in, in himself or something. Spinning back fist there from uh, Asuzi. It's but I want to say it could have been a much better fight if Gnedre would would fight more. He, in my opinion, he doesn't fight. Look what he's doing now. He's, it's all, it's not real. It's not, it's, yeah. Well, this that was a good knee. What it what it does appears like possibly is that he hasn't got the confidence in his yeah. cardio. That's that's so yeah. he doesn't want to unleash Possible. anything for, for fear of gassing out. But yeah, well, maybe he waits. If there's uh, still a minute and a half to go, uh, maybe he's he waits until the last half minute or something. But I think once again, full credit to Abdillah Asuzi at, at this yeah. weight, under 95 kilograms, a fantastic pace. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, under 90 95 kilogram. I mean, it's not that heavy. Spinning in back my, fist in there. my days, 90 for that. Then I would go for for even if it was 10 rounds. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, but that was the golden era, maybe, Ernesto. Maybe. <laughs> I think the 90s, early 2000s, uh, was just something special about Maybe, I mean, everything. what I see now, I mean, basically they have they have some nice, they, they have some nice techniques, but I mean, it looks like they lack uh, some kind of killing, oh, nice killing right killer's instinct or something. Killer instinct, but uh, yeah. even you go back, if you look at uh, the fighters of yesteryear, mm -hmm. Raymond Deckers, yeah. Albert Kraus, yeah. Who fought like a hurricane? Yeah. Uh, Andy Sauer, yourself. Yeah, it was just I, I guess it was a different era. Now here we coming up to 15 seconds left of this fight, and I'm surprised Abdillah Asuzi hasn't finished. Fabrizio Gnedra. Uh, and there's only five seconds now. He's not going to do it. No. But apart, apart from that, a fantastic performance For sure. from the Moroccan. Yeah. Um, showing full respect to his opponent there, which is great to see. Wow, a great that was pace. A great fight, guys. Unbelievable. Such he worked such every single minute of every single round. And just not giving up, eh? There in that replay we see that was okay. an accidental well, clash of heads, nothing dirty there. The no. like Albert well, I just mentioned Albert Kraus, and he's going in to award, to present the award for this fight, as we await a formality which will be our judge's decision. If it goes any other way than the blue corner, then, uh, then I'm I'll going eat, home. I'll eat my microphone. I'll go home. <laughs> I walk home. <laughs> to Holland. <laughs> I walk home. Um, but I think the judging here is pretty consistent. Yeah, the judges are good. Um, the referees, I think the referees are also good. Yeah, there's no bias here. No. no. So, and they've got no interest in being biased. No, 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 no uh, not at all. Not at all. And we have the official scorecard from the judges. So here we go with our announcement of the decision. I would say they embrace the body and spirit of what Century is all about. Judge number one, 30 to 27 in favor of the blue corner. Judge two, 30 to 25. And judge three, 30 to 24 in favor of the blue corner. Abdelila Azuzi. And there we go, as Susie gets it, three rounds to nothing. And still appreciative of his opponent. Yeah, that, that's, that's the beauty of, uh, of our sport most of the time. Not always, but most of the time, the, the fighters uh, try to knock each other out, bash each other's head off, but at the end, uh, there's nothing but respect. It's That's a strange camaraderie you get when you fight someone. Yeah, and you have when an you think about war. it too much, then it, it is kind of strange. Um, but, uh, 
I can remember Chris Eubanks saying once mm -hmm. that he he must have been in love with Nigel Benn. <laughs> because he thought about him every day, yeah, 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 dreamt yeah, yeah. about him, yeah, 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 yeah. and when he went shopping, he thought about him, <laughs> and he was the only person he thought of. Yeah. So he must have been in love with him. <laughs> well, <laughs> a strange one. They had uh, a nice love affair in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and that I again. I really enjoyed that fight. That was a similar time. Yeah. Uh, that era of yeah. boxing, kickboxing, yeah. and even bodybuilding. The time of Ronnie Coleman and Dorian Yates. Those, those yeah, I, 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 didn't, I know them, but I didn't really follow it. But uh, Eubank and uh, and Ben, yeah, that was that was great. Yeah.